ladies and gentlemen, to the glory of God, this site was commissioned by His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana, to represent the Rural Telephony Project in Ghana this day, the 3rd of August 2018, an MTN and GIFET collaboration approved by us celebrate this great day in history. Today's event, the launch of the Rural Telephony Project, represents an important milestone in our quest to provide fast and reliable mobile telephony connectivity in our rural communities. It's also a very worthwhile initiative, not just for our rural communities and our rural citizens, but also ultimately for all Ghanaians. The GIFEC collaboration has been very effective and we're pleased to inform you that we did 55 sites before 2018, but in 2018 alone, till July, we had already commissioned approximately 100 similar sites in rural communities. This project demonstrates a translation of the manifesto of the government as contained in page 883, item number 8 of the manifesto document, into concrete results of facilitating a nationwide access to mobile telecommunication network. Omo omo de omo fa be fu kwan so e yo mo ejuma esu omo ade e di nkita ho a ye kan mo so efra ye buta ye da ye nim ne se impuntu juma no na na do dan kwa ekufu adu na ban mpp aban buta ye da na nim se impuntu juma ye ye wo me mu hanu ye ntwo bia enya gana fo nyina se fata Se juma na ye ye no. Omo nso, omo nye mo na ebi e kan won. E ne, abna so fo nso. Mo be jina abonten mo akasa. Mo di dja. Mo esu ya die. Na ni e e kosu wokro kesi e mo nye na. Mo nso, mo etu mi, mo ebi. Ye nye na ye jichum. Se, sa, eh, telefon ya juma yi. E nukre ni. Se ufri ya ha. Na udu kro kesi ya mwa. Se ni yoka se ufo bidi kanka ya no. Ya se mwudi ya mwa. Aji se si mufru nwe ya zani ya. Ya te mwonka. Na na mpa. Aha. E ni pedi yonu. Adi ya sani ya jina fakon. E ti wun tumi ni wun komo biya. Se be. Ube tumi ya diye. Na na nyamishra wo. Se ne. E kwa si fwo. Me wura usla. Me ni mon peni fo nyina yada mase. Se mo ye se. Mo be mo ban. Mo be kire se ekrase eni ba bia. Na se wo kan ya. Na wo wo telephone su ye djuma. Ni o tin kran no a wo bra so no. Wo wa bra so a wo so bra so. Na na nya mi shao. All men are dust. But na na do dan kwa ekufado is a gold dust. Nana, mene me mafo nina dawasi o. Wabiru wabira koto. Nene ma, ya dawasi. Na ya chawachi. I'm very happy to be here to inaugurate the Abranso Rural Telephony Project which will connect this town and surrounding communities with ICT facilities and telecommunication services. The National Communications Authority, the Ghana Investment Fund for Electronic Communications, GIFEC, MTN Ghana Limited, and Huawei Technologies Limited of the People's Republic of China, and the traditional authorities are to be warmly commended for making today's event possible. I do not exaggerate 
if I state that all aspects of our lives are now ruled by information technology. We communicate with each other electronically. We gather and store information electronically. We conduct business electronically. And our young people are more likely to meet their partners on the internet or online than at parties or social gatherings. Today, news travels faster by social media than through the traditional media platform. What we once read as science fiction is present-day reality. Despite witnessing significant spread of telecommunication services around the country, the distribution of basic telephony infrastructure is still very much concentrated in the major economic centers of the country, whereas our rural areas lack access to reliable telecommunications infrastructure. That is why government continues to attach great importance to ensuring that telecommunication and ICT facilities, which can now be described as basic necessities of life, are available in all parts of the country. Whilst government is providing the requisite communications infrastructure throughout the country, we're also creating an enabling environment through the policies Im implemented over the last 19 months to encourage private sector investment in the communications sector. Through the Ministry of Communications and GIFEC, in partnership with MTN Ghana Limited and Huawei, we've begun rolling out the first, the Rural tele Telephony Project which will provide data and voice connectivity to some 1,020 hitherto unserved communities across the country. Indeed, the Abnasu Rural Telephony Site, which I'm inaugurating today, is part of 161 rural telephony sites and 85 repeater sites, which have been completed within 18 months of my government. And, and which will be providing voice and data connectivity to approximately 500 communities across the country. By the end of this year, a total of 200 telephony sites serving some 1,000 communities will have been completed. This is to, compared, to be compared to only 78 such telephony sites established during the entire eight years of the Mills Mahama era. Such is the commitment of government to ensuring the realization of today's ceremony that taxes such as VAT customs duties and other import levies were waived for the equipment brought into the country for the project. I express my deep appreciation to our traditional authorities across the country for generously donating parts of, parcels of land for the project to take off. So from today, Abnaso and 429 other rural communities across the country will enjoy 3G coverage. The use of web applications such as WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram will now be possible on your mobile phones. Junior high school students who recently took their BEC exam can also check their results online once the results are published. Nana Abnasuhini, my good and worthy brother, from today, you will have no excuse not to contact me. Nana, ladies and gentlemen, offering basic telephony connectivity services to our rural communities 
I am confident, will help open up Abnasu and other rural communities to opportunities for the development of skills and knowledge, as well as the growth of businesses and the local economy. And Kwesia Mwakwata, Minister for Roads and Highways, charged me to tell you, Nana Abnasu, that the road is also going to be done right up to bitumen level. The big challenge now for which I'm eliciting your help, Nanano, is how to ensure that Abnaso and other beneficiary communities utilize fully the opportunities that this project will bring to them. We will want to see this project bring about a positive impact on the lives of residents of this community and other beneficiary communities. To the youth gathered here, I challenge all of you to take advantage of the opportunities that will be offered to you by this facility. You are living in perhaps the most exacting, exciting time in our history, so please make the best of it. Some say this is our time. I say this is your time, and tomorrow will be the time of your children. We want to build a new Ghanaian civilization where fair opportunities are given to all to live dignified, productive lives by dint of their hard work, creativity, and sense of enterprise. It is a promising phase in the Ghanaian journey.